Okay, today I'm going to show you how to make a Victoria sandwich, not, I hasten to add, a Victoria sponge. There's no such thing as a Victoria sponge. It's called a Victoria sandwich. To make it, it's pretty straightforward. Now, I've preheated my oven to 160 fan or 180 non fan. And middle of the oven, perfect, so you get that good all round heat. Now, in the bowl here, I've got butter and I've got margarine. Now, Butter adds beautiful flavour to it, a richness which a margarine can't, but the margarine adds to the texture to create a very light crumb. So you've got your fats in there. I'm going to add my sugar, caster sugar. Now you need to cream these together. Again, get your blender in there. If you're going to use a, a table mixer, use a table mixer on slow speed initially, just to introduce the the fats to the sugar. You want to cream these together quite well. Speed it up a bit now it's together. I'm getting covered already, look. And you see the butter on the marge getting lighter and lighter because essentially you've added a white to a yellow so it gets a lighter yellow. And you can start to see that now. Get right down the bottom. He's softening it basically. Dissolving the sugar into the fat is what you're actually doing and it's lightening it up, so you're softening it with air temperature as well, so it's beginning to soften. Now at that stage, you can begin to add your eggs. Now one egg on the side, crack it, drop it in, give that a mix in, and it instantly starts to slacken off, loose. Really make sure it's all mixed in well before the next egg. The easiest way to do it, if you can't do what I'm doing, is crack four eggs into a bowl, whisk it up, and then a little bit at a time. By adding a little bit of a time, you're ensuring it's not gonna curdle. See how light that is now. Last one goes in. Now, the flour I'm going to add into this is self-raising, so it's already got rising agent in there. Go straight into the mixture, which is beautiful and light. Get in there and begin to mix in your flour with your fats and sugar. Again, get right down the bottom, turn it round. It mixes pretty readily, actually. It won't take very long. It's quite a soft mixture anyway. Making sure it's incorporated, which it is. And I'm going to use my mixer briefly. Why would it curdle? It, sometimes it curdles if you add too much egg into a mixture. It goes like quite mottled. Some mixtures, like a muffin mix, for instance, it looks like you've added too much eggs. It starts to break apart. The fat begins to split. You can bring that back in by adding a little bit of flour and carry on mixing it because that will bring, congeal all the mixture together. So you end up with a beautiful light mixture like that. And you can see how light it actually is. It's smooth, it's mixed in properly and it's good to go. Now, I've lined two tins, like so. Add a scoopful into each tin to start with. I love cake mixture. Do you like eating it? Yeah. I really don't get it. Why would you eat fat, sugar, butter, raw eggs, straight out of a bowl? Because it tastes great. Yeah, it does, not you weirdo? You look like a man who's licked <laughs> I've licked a few bowls in my time. <laughs> don't you love him? So basically, basically get your mixture and coerce it to the side. Try not to take it too far up the side of the tin because it will find its level. Once it begins to heat, it slackens off and then fills the tin. And again, try and encourage a bit more height in the middle. Now you've got a little bit of extra there. Get your finger in there. Fill your boots. Unbelievable. Right, okay. Now your oven is set and preheated and good to go. Now I'm going to pop these straight in the oven, put it in the middle of the oven so you get a good balanced heat. And I'll keep an eye on them after about 25 minutes, half an hour. And you can tell it's got that bounce. It's coming back nicely. It's pulled away slightly from the side. And it's good to come out. Obviously, when you've brought out your Victoria sandwich, you need to cool them. 
you want to be able to touch them and they feel cold. If you have to put them in the fridge, put them in the fridge or leave them for a couple of hours and it'll feel it in the middle. If it's cool there, you know it's going to be cold on the outside. I've taken them out of the tin, laid them on top of my cake board here and all I'm going to use, the classic, is basically raspberry jam. And all I'm going to do is pour it on. I like plenty of jam as well. I mean, this is the classic cake, really. It is one of those cakes that really become known all over the world. That's what we're known for, really. Victoria sandwich, nut sponge. And I'm just coaxing it out to the edge. Good, thick layer of raspberry jam. And obviously, this is the top bit of the sandwich. So slide it over the top. Why haven't you put cream in? Well, this is the classic one I'm doing. In the north, I would have it with cream. Down south, it tends to keep it quite classic. So you can see the jam sandwiched in between there. A little bit of pressure, not too much. And then on the top, you're going to put some caster sugar. Now, again, you can put icing sugar if you wish, but caster sugar is more the traditional methods. A good drizzle of caster sugar over the top. It looks amazing. I think caster sugar does look really nice on the top, to be honest. And I'm happy with that. I mean, you don't get more classic than Victoria's sandwich. And the thing is, when you cut into it and take a slice with a cup of tea, there's really nothing better. It's a great birthday cake. I'd have one with a candle in it. Although you couldn't fit all my candles of my age on that cake. 42's a lot.